Hey folks, I'm trying to make a video here to show people how to basically change a specific route on your Qualcomm's GPS. I'm sure a lot of you guys are running for a company that wants you to run a very specific route and some might be more lenient than others. Some companies might not really care. They may tell you to get it there however you want as long as it's on time. Other companies will probably call you as soon as they find out that you're off route, which in some cases is not more than a mile or two. Um, this is to try to help those people. If you run for a company like that and you have a G uh, Qualcomm that has a GPS built into it and it looks like mine, we're going to cover that today. If you have a Qualcomm that either A, does not have GPS built into it, or B, if it's different than mine, I won't be able to help you much. I'm not familiar with any other Qualcomm styles with GPS other than my own. But either way, I've ran with this one for a while to make sure I understood the ins and outs and things like that. It was amazing. I searched YouTube to find a video about this, and I didn't find one. So maybe I was using the wrong keywords. Um, maybe since I did my last search, maybe other people have done it. But either way. I hope I help as many guys as I can, and gals too for that matter. But let's get started. I'm going to run a route that I've done quite a few times. I know the route by heart by now. Um, for all of you that are interested, it's I'm in Amarillo, excuse me, I'm in Emporia, Kansas right now, running to Emporia. I'm actually not, but we're, we're going to pretend that I'm running to Amarillo, Texas. It's a relatively simple route. The GPS on Qualcomm here as soon as I pull it up it's going to try to have me run I-35 south down to 40 west run 40 directly into Amarillo and that's probably a pretty efficient way to do things I believe that my company probably doesn't want to pay the tolls or pay as few tolls as possible because I will be on a, I will be on the turnpike for just a little bit but uh, anyways nonetheless let's get started from your main screen here you'll see all your different options just touch your navigation button give it a second to pull up now I'm not gonna put the exact address in I I usually don't I usually run local directions once I get to my last major road um, but in this case we're gonna we're gonna get you to the last you know we're gonna get you 1912 down in Amarillo which is a, a highway there in Amarillo so type in an address Amarillo route 1912 of course the GPS shows multiple different versions. We're not going to put the address in. As you see, it's going to calculate the route. And as I suspected, it's going to run 35 south to 40 west into Amarillo. If this little banner right here, if it's blocking something you need to see, or if you just rather not be on there, whatever, then so be it just touch somewhere idle on the screen don't touch your route line don't touch the banner itself just touch somewhere idle something somewhere there's not something going on on the screen now I'm sure this is not new to many of you guys but obviously there's more roads on the map than what you initially see if what you see if what you need you don't see just zoom in every time you zoom in there's gonna be more and more roads available for you to see now, as I spoke earlier, I want to take 35 to 54 to 287 and run 287 directly into Amarillo. So, with that being said, we're going to change this route to my route. So, up here in the corner, we're going to hit this button that says Drag Route. Once you hit it, you get a little flag up there that says Drag the Route Line or Flags to change your route. All you're going to do is just touch your, you're going to touch the highlighted green arrow, or green line. It really doesn't matter where. I try to usually pick somewhere in the center of it. And you're going to watch it triangulate itself. And then we're going to just drop, we're going to drop the line right there on the, on the road we want. So we're going to get it right there on 54. We're going to let go. And it's going to calculate the route. Now in this particular situation, it's going to automatically populate the rest of the route properly for me. Uh, according to what my needs are. It's not always going to be like that. Sometimes you might need to make 
two, three, five, ten, twenty different waypoints or set points to get the, the, the entire route that you want. Um, again, there's that banner. If you don't want it, just tap somewhere right on the screen. And now you can see that we're going to take the route I want it, or the, the route I need to take. So we're going to go 35 for a short distance. We're going to run 54. We're going to run 54 to 287. Run 287 directly into Amarillo. And that's the route we need to take. Now, if it were different, and let's say it for some reason it chose 83, instead of going over, you would just hit drag route again. You'd leave the proper part alone, and you'd drag from where it was incorrect over to where it's correct again. And you just keep doing that for every portion until it, until the entire trip is routed the way you need to be routed. Now, obviously for some of you guys that are older and been out here for a while, this is clearly not efficient for you. You guys probably know where you need to go. Most of you probably feel like you could do it blindfolded, to be specific. Some of you guys are on a dedicated route where you find yourselves going to the same place multiple times or every time, this wouldn't be very efficient for you either. Unless you're just getting started and you want to get familiar with the route right up front and, and run that route a few times. Um, for us OTR guys that don't go to the same place very often or maybe not at all, this is a pretty, this is a pretty useful tool to have. Um, being able to manipulate your own your own route. Now your store-bought GPS's, Ram McNally's, Garmin's, however many other versions out there, they'll do the same thing. But I have found that it's a little bit more task-oriented. You have to do a little more, a little more work to get it that way. And even then, you know, it will recalculate as soon as you get off the off the route. And this one here is going to try to stick to it as much as possible. So if you find yourself for some reason trying to go off that route, instead of recalculating to your route to, to find you an alternate route, it's going to recalculate to try to get you right back to where you left off or the most efficient way possible. Um, a detour, a traffic jam, a wreck, whatever. You know, you have to make a, a detour for whatever reason instead of it trying to find a new route for you instantly it's going to route you back to your specific route your store bots don't always do that at least mine doesn't my Garmin does not do that as soon as I go off the route it picks something different it's just gonna pick the next the next available efficient route anyhow you just hit go and you're gonna see that it is picking the route and sticking with that route the entire way. All the way up into Emporia, which is where we'd be, that's where we're hypothetically starting from is Emporia. Now as you drive, this is going to glide with you. You'll be able to see the route line the entire time. And your store bots will do the same thing. That's not really anything new. Um, the bad thing is if you have to make a, a change of plans and you want to alter this, you will need to stop, uh, at least on mine. I'm pretty sure it's that way with 99%, if not all, Qualcomm's out there. That is the one thing about the store bots. You can actually set it up to change it on the go. Um, if you're comfortable doing that, so be it. If you're not, then don't. Don't do what you're not comfortable with. That's how accidents happen. But anyhow make this route line. What I really find particularly useful about this one is you can you can zoom in all the way to city streets. You can pick if you have if your company sends you local directions, you can get every step of the way on GPS, including all the way up to the final street. I find that very useful. Anyways, guys, if I haven't covered something, if I wasn't clear about something, if you have suggestions, leave a comment. And uh, appreciate you guys. Be safe. See you next time.